Biden took office, he disbanded the Trump administration's 1776 commission, which was designed to promote patriotic education in schools and push back on the idea that the country is systemically racist. The new administration claiming the commission, quote, sought to erase America's history of racial injustice. Joining me now is someone who has given more than four decades to American education, president of the College of the Ozarks and former member of the 1776 Commission, Dr. Jerry Davis. Dr. Davis, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of hard work you and everything that you do there. Why was this 1776 on the chopping block on day one for this new administration? Well, I think it's because uh, that we were dealing with a subject that the left doesn't like. I think uh, what we see here is just another battle in the war against American heritage. And why would anybody have a problem with a commission whose sole goal is to better inform people about the heritage of this country? Uh, I don't understand how that could be a priority. I can think of others that I think the government ought to be worried about. Dr. Davis, the criticism of the report, and they rescinded the report as well, by the way, as if it never happened, was that it, that it whitewashes the, the, the racial challenges our country has had. Did it ignore that, or did it recognize it and say, We've, we're working every day to push past it? No, it does recognize it, and uh, of course the critics don't like it because they don't want you to hear that. And they don't want you to read this report. So I would suggest that all of your viewers out there uh, read the report for yourself. Don't listen to these know-it-alls in the Ivy League or in the media that want to tell us how to live and how to think. So you can read that report yourself. You can get it on the College of the Ozarks website. You can get it on other websites. And I think if you read that, you'll see that we did address uh, the problem of slavery. It, it, it comes down to what is your view of America? Yes. We, we view America as something that's good and they correct things as we go along. There are people out there, self-appointed guardians of our heritage, that want to tell us that America is no good and, and can't be redeemed. Uh, these people just don't like America. So I think our commission, we told the truth. If they don't like the truth, that's their problem. Yeah, they're, they're effectively, they're pushing the 1619 narrative. You know, the College of the Ozarks does things very differently than most, almost all Pretty colleges good. and universities in America. You teach capitalism, you talk about patriotism, hard work. Um, That's right. Is it any surprise to you that a new incoming Democrat administration would go straight at education? Because education yeah. is the way in which they get into the bloodstream, their leftism of young people. That's right. It's all part of the idea of uh, telling you how to think or limiting information. You know, we've got the, the big tech people want to tell you what you can read. They don't like what we said about America that's good, so they want to remove it. And uh, I think people ought to read the report for themselves. And my guess is that most Americans will agree with what our commission said. Because it's common sense, because you're, you're loving a country that common is sense. flawed, but yes. unarguably yes. exceptional in the premise that it gave yeah. uh, to uh, free people to govern themselves yeah. and, and understanding that rights yeah. come from God, uh, not from government. Yeah, it, it, is a, it, it is about common sense. And so uh, you're not going to hear much about it up in the Ivy League because those people live in a bubble. They don't, they, they've lost touch with America. So there's lots of common sense in America. You just have to get away from the coast and get away from the know-it-alls and make up your own mind, and uh, you'll see how remarkably good America is. And we don't mind standing up for that. We, we think others should look at what we're doing to teach patriotic education because we need to train citizens that love America in its broadest sense and that don't, don't run it down every time they have a chance. It's true. Uh, as Thomas Sowell once said, the road to hell is paved with Ivy League degrees. Uh, Dr. Jerry Davis, thank you so much yeah. for your time. <laughs> College of the Ozarks, you can read the report right there on your website. Appreciate your time this morning and all of your work in education.